So there is a new AI agent from GenSpark called Super Agent. It's basically an all-in-one AI tool that can plan trips, analyze data, generate videos, and even make phone calls to book restaurants or services on your behalf, which is pretty wild. Genspark was founded by Jing Kun, a former Baidu executive, and they've been positioning this super agent as a direct competitor to an existing autonomous agent called Manus. Manus got a lot of attention in March for claiming to be the world's first fully autonomous AI agent, but Genspark's response goes a step further with built-in phone call capabilities, which could be a real advantage for users dealing with language barriers or different time zones. They actually demoed that phone call feature in a pretty cool way. Imagine you want to book a restaurant, you just tell this GenSpark super agent, nicknamed G-A-I-A, -A, what you're looking for, whether you have any dietary needs, what day and time you want to go, and G-A-I-A -A just picks up the phone and calls the place for you. In one of their demos, the AI had to account for one person having a shellfish allergy and another person being vegetarian. Not only did it handle that info, it also responded in real time to the host who asked if they wanted a booth or a window table. The AI answered something like, a window table would be perfect if that's available, and that was it. Preservation booked. They're promoting this as a key advantage over Manus, which currently doesn't have voice call capabilities. And if you think that's not a big deal, just imagine you need to buy something super hard to get your hands on, like the hypothetical NVIDIA 5090 chip. The AI could call 100 stores on your behalf until it finds the item. That's kind of mind-blowing if you ask me. Now, Genspark calls this AI assistant a mixture of agents system. They say they're combining eight large language models, over 80 specialized toolkits, and an extensive in-house curated data set. So the idea is that you have a bunch of specialized mini agents or tool sets that handle different tasks. Everything from generating marketing websites, analyzing huge data sets like earthquake st statistics, to turning YouTube interviews into short, concise slide decks. In terms of performance and speed, Genspark claims their tool gives near instant results and is really easy to control or tweak. That's part of the reason some folks have started comparing it to Manus, which also aims to handle complex tasks like resume screening or stock analysis. The difference though is that Genspark says they're more oriented toward everyday scenarios like booking a table, generating social media content, or even creating your own personal cooking videos. Meanwhile, Manus is more focused on bigger technical tasks. That leads me to the next piece of the puzzle, real world performance. Some researchers and AI enthusiasts are kind of cautious because all these multi-agent systems sound great on paper, but they need to perform under real everyday usage. One big question is how many times does it fail at a phone call or produce weird outputs when asked to do something complicated? People are also wondering how Genspark's system works behind the scenes because they haven't released the full details of GAIA's internal architecture. On top of that, there's the open source angle. Manus is planning to open source parts of its system later this year, which might give it a leg up in community support, bug fixes, and new features. At the end of the day, whether Genspark or Manus wins out probably depends on how they keep improving and whether users find these agents actually helpful enough to incorporate them into daily life. As part of Genspark's official launch, they put out a pretty comprehensive video demonstration hosted by Eric from Genspark AI. In that video, Eric asks Super Agent to plan a five-day trip to San Diego. In mid-Apple, the AI sets to work by using something called a travel tool, which taps into a travel data set, and then it uses a deep research tool to check out the public transportation options. Then it actually uses a map tool to calculate distances between attractions so that the itinerary isn't overwhelming. Eric shows off the final plan and points out how it accommodates all sorts of special requests, like preferring to walk or needing easy access to public transit or wanting certain types of restaurants. All of this is done in minutes, which is impressive because usually you'd spend a long time researching and planning by hand. Then Eric wants to book the restaurants for each day, and that's when the AI takes over with the Call For Me tool and calls the restaurant, that's the part I mentioned earlier, where it seamlessly handled dietary restrictions and table preferences. 
Eric also talks about how the super agent can create personalized videos for you based on your interests. He gave an example where he asked it to show him how to cook calamari and pistachio crusted codfish in a video. So first the AI researches the recipe. Then it uses a video generation tool to assemble little clips for each step of the process. After that, it uses an audio generation tool to add in the sound effects or voiceovers. The end result is a neat cooking reel that's basically custom made. You can imagine the possibilities. Maybe you wanna see how to fix a car engine step by step, or you wanna learn how to do certain yoga poses. The AI just compiles a bunch of relevant visuals, adds a voice track, and boom, you've got your personalized mini tutorial. Another crazy example is the AI's ability to create a South Park style episode based on recent news. Eric showed how the AI took something called the signal gate controversy, wrote a full script around it, and then used a video generation tool to piece together short South Park looking clips for each scene. After that, it used text to speech to generate character voices and they ended up with about a minute and a half episode. Part of the snippet included lines like, did you guys see the news about that defense guy who texted their war plans and someone else joking about strategic incompetence. Uh, it's definitely comedic, maybe not perfect, but it's still amazing that an AI can get you that far with practically no manual video editing required. Now, how Super Agent actually pulls off all these different tasks, they say, it really boils down to three key innovations working together. Large language models, tool sets, and data sets. The language model can interpret queries and generate coherent text, the tool sets are specialized modules like the travel tool or the video generation tool, and the data sets are curated training materials that help these modules understand how to accomplish tasks in different domains. Genspark also emphasizes that they wanted the system to be fast, reliable, and super steerable, meaning you can guide its outputs or correct it if it's off track. They do admit solving real world problems is much harder than they initially thought, but they're excited about the progress they've made so far. They see it as something for everyone, whether you're a marketer, a teacher, a recruiter, or just someone trying to plan a trip or produce content. Moving on from Genspark, there's another groundbreaking AI technology that just dropped from ByteDance, the company that owns TikTok. They call it Dream Actor M1, and basically it can take a single image, yes, just one photo, and animate it into a full body video. We're talking about smooth, realistic movement that covers everything from facial expressions to head turns to complicated dance steps. In older AI frameworks, you'd get weird distortions or lose facial detail if you tried to animate longer video segments, but ByteDance says, They've figured out a method that keeps the face expressive and the body poses accurate throughout the entire clip. The core technology behind Dream Actor M1 is something known as a DIT, or Diffusion Transformer, guided by a hybrid system of 3D face, head, and body references. So for facial expressions, it uses implicit facial representations to capture subtle movements like blinking or lip sync. For head movement, it tracks 3D spheres to handle tilts and rotations more naturally. And for body movement, it uses a 3D skeleton with bone length adjustments so you don't end up with those freaky proportions if your source image doesn't match the reference video exactly. They actually published some numbers comparing Dream Actor M1 to other models like Animate Anyone, Mimic Motion, and Dispose, and Dream Actor M1 outperforms them all in benchmarks like FID, which measures how realistic the frames look, SSIM and PSNR, which measure image similarity, LPIPS, which also checks perceptual image differences, and FVD, a metric for video quality. Dream Actor M1 scored an FID of 27.27, an SSIM of 0.821, a PSNR of 0.23.93, an LPIPS of 0.26, and an FVD of 122.0, which apparently beats the other approaches by a pretty solid margin. The ByteDance team also notes how Dream Actor M1 keeps things consistent if you're generating a longer video. Typically, if you animate a single image, you don't have reference shots of, say, the person's backside or different angles of their face. This system actually generates pseudo-reference frames to fill in those angles 
and maintain consistency so you don't get random changes in clothing or face shape mid-video. That said, they admit it's still got a ways to go in handling dynamic camera movements and any scenario where the person in the video is physically interacting with objects. There's also a serious ethical concern because, let's be real, this sort of tech can be used for deep fakes. ByteDance says they're restricting access to the core model and will remove flagged content. But who knows how easy it might be for someone else to replicate or adapt the technology. So yeah, Gensparks handling your tasks, ByteDance is animating photos, big steps for everyday AI. Exciting stuff ahead. Let's see where it goes. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.